Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us on News Channel 3 Live at 6. I'm Jessica Harthorn. And I'm Andy Dominiani. Tonight, one day after winning the endorsement of Michigan's law enforcement union, Democrats and some immigration groups are speaking out against former President Donald Trump. They take issue with comments he made during a visit to Grand Rapids on Tuesday. The former president primarily focusing on a sharp increase in illegal immigration, speaking specifically to the death of Ruby Garcia, a woman who police say was murdered by her boyfriend, a Mexican immigrant in the country illegally. News Channel 3's Autumn Pitcher is live in studio. And Autumn, you spoke with criminal experts today. Yes. Andy, Jessica, experts say the focus right now is on undocumented immigrants. Trump painting the picture that crime is on the rise. But in reality, FBI statistics show overall crime dropped in the U.S. last year regarding these individuals. Joe Biden has brought the carnage and chaos and killing from all over the world and dumped it straight into our backyards. Former President Donald Trump hitting hard on immigrants entering the U.S. illegally. He says the cause Biden's open border policies showcasing this graph. To the right, he claims you can see numbers shooting up after he left office. Under Biden, the bad ones are coming in at a level that nobody ever thought was even possible. Using Ruby Garcia's case as a prime example, the Grand Rapids woman was shot to death. Her undocumented boyfriend, Brandon Ortiz Vite, confessing to the crime. But Susan Reed, director of Michigan Immigrant Rights Center in Kalamazoo, says immigrants aren't all bad, as Trump made it seem. The actions of one person really shouldn't be used to characterize a whole group of people. Immigrants are my friends, my neighbors, my children's teachers, my loved ones. According to the most recent study Stanford conducted in 2023, immigrants are 60% less likely to be incarcerated than U.S. born citizens. The trends in the data suggest that perhaps there's a misunderstanding of crime rates and the fear of uh, undocumented individuals committing crime. Brian Johnson is a professor of criminal justice at Grand Valley State University. We will see undocumented individuals obviously commit crime within the United States. But the research says that they committed at a lower number or a lower rate. Arrests, however, for illegal border crossings from Mexico reached an all-time high in December. The Border Patrol tallying almost 250,000, up 31 percent from November. Van Buren County Sheriff Dan Abbott says 40 percent of jail inmates don't live in the county, 10 percent of which have addresses from Mexico and Guatemala. They're not in our jail by coincidence. We didn't just see them walking down the road saying, you know what, I don't think you belong here. They're in our jail because they committed crimes. Reed believes the focus coming out of Garcia's death should instead be on domestic and intimate partner violence, an issue she says is growing across the state. Reed knows a lot of people who struggle with their immigration status, telling me it has nothing to do with who they are as people. I'm Andy Dominiani. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, we've got much more to see. So take a second and subscribe to our channel.